Hi guys, it's Mark from Modern Tech and today I'm going to show you how to play emulators on your Xbox One console, on any Xbox One console, without using the dev kit. Just before we get too stuck in, I want to put a little disclaimer up first, that there will be no ROMs downloaded in this video. If you want to download ROMs, just Google it, do that on your own accord. Alternatively, you can use cart dumpers to dump your ROMs from your original carts. Other than that, Google is your friend. So once you've got your ROM downloaded, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up OneDrive. Once that you are in OneDrive, you're going to want to make a new folder called ROMs. You don't have to call it ROMs, you can call it whatever you like, but ROMs probably makes it a lot easier. As you can see, I've already got a folder called ROMs from previous emulation projects, so there's no reason for me to make another one. As a side note, your OneDrive account has to be the account which your Xbox Live name is registered to. When adding the ROMs, please make sure you wait until it's fully completed, otherwise you'll boot up the emulator and it will not work because the ROMs won't be there. After all your ROMs are uploaded and safely in a folder, you're going to want to boot up your Xbox and open up Microsoft Edge. Edge is the free web browser on Xbox and you want to go to the address bar and type in nesbox.com slash embed. I'm going to leave the link to that in the description or I'm going to leave it on screen so you can see it for yourself. If you think you're going to frequently use this emulator you might want to bookmark it. Once the emulator opens you're going to hear a very very pleasant noise and then you're going to want to move the cursor to the box on the screen and double press A on it. This will make the emulator go in full screen where you can use your controller to navigate. If for whatever reason your controller isn't recognized on there, press the middle button on your control pad to go to the home menu, press B to go back to the browser, that should refresh it and sort your controller issues out. On your first time using it, there might be a dialog box that pops up asking if you want to go into full screen, allow this app, etc. Just, you might have to click on that and click off it and refresh the page a couple of times to get it accurate so it doesn't pop up every time. That's what happened to me and it took me about 35 40 seconds to get through it that's about four refreshes of the page but now every time i go on the emulator it works perfectly once the emulator is there and you're up and running everything's on the screen you want to click on select rom from onedrive first time doing this it might ask you to sign into your onedrive account but most likely it'll just do it for you then all you have to do is navigate to your roms folder you've just made and choose the rom and start playing the nesbox emulator supports nes snes Genesis slash Mega Drive, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance systems. I'll leave the file types in the description so you can easily identify which file formats will work. This was my first time actually using this emulator so I'm going to have to give you a quick conclusion. For setup and installation this was super easy because as you can see there was no installation it's all online which is great because it's very easy to use and as you can see from the videos in the background the performance is quite reasonable. On Game Boy Advance games the frame rate does drop and you can tell in the sound especially. But in the Super Mario Land SNES game, the frame rate was perfect. Very playable and enjoyable. I only had time to play a small handful of games, but to me this emulator is looking like it's going to be a lot better for SNES slash arcade style games, mainly because I was rather disappointed to find out that there is no save data or save states in this emulator. If anybody has figured out how to do that, please let me know in the comments because I would love to do a full playthrough of Pokemon on my Xbox, that would be pretty awesome, but for now I'm just going to have to chill with my main man Super Mario. So I hope you all enjoy playing your emulators, if you like this video please like, subscribe and comment. I'm going to try and post videos every Sunday so please watch out for that. Thanks for watching.